When you sign up for Google Workspace, you will need to complete a couple of tasks to set up your account and get Gmail working. But first, let's talk a little bit about how the internet works. A domain is needed for every website. For example, yourcompany.com has a set of DNS records that can be viewed by anyone on the internet. Browsers like Firefox, Safari, and Chrome look up your DNS records to find your company website. Mail servers and services such as Gmail and Outlook also use your DNS records to figure out where to deliver your messages. DNS records are hosted by domain registrars. This is usually the place where you bought your domain or the company that hosts your website. If someone else helped you buy a domain and set up your website, they'll probably know how to update your DNS records. If you don't know which company your domain is registered with, we'll help you figure it out later in this video. Only the owner of a domain can change its DNS records, so this is a great way to help us make sure you're the only one who signs up for Google Workspace with your domain. We've partnered with popular domain registrars to automatically create the DNS records you need to get everything working. If your registrar is one of our partners, the Google Workspace setup tool will do most of the work for you. If your registrar doesn't support this, you'll have to do this task yourself. Here's how it works. We'll give you a verification code that's unique to your new Google Workspace account. You'll go to your domain registrar's website and create a new DNS record and then paste that verification code into the new record. Once you've done that, come back to the Workspace Setup tool and tell Google to check for your verification code. Behind the scenes, the setup tool will ask your domain registrar for your site's DNS records. Once we can see your verification code, we'll know you're the owner of your domain. We won't let anyone else use it to sign up for Google Workspace. Just like you did with a verification code, you'll need to change your MX records when you're ready to start receiving your business email in Gmail. The setup tool will tell you everything you need to know about rerouting your messages to Gmail servers. It's important to note that some registrars can take a while to publish your new DNS record. If we don't see your verification code or MX records right away, we'll keep checking for them. Once we get Gmail activated, you might continue receiving messages in your old email account for the next 48 hours. This is how long it takes for the rest of the internet to learn that your company is now using Gmail. So please be patient. So how do you get started? First, get the account and password you need to sign into your domain registrar. If you don't know who your domain registrar is, we have a link below that'll help you figure it out. Haven't started sign up yet? Go to workspace.google.com and get started.